What would leadership look like for Oregon? From the governor. From the government. Um, you know, I would like to see in this speech, I'm sure transparency will be talked about, but frankly, I would like to see transparency be evident um, in all the policies and all the decisions that come out of the governor's office. Um, I am pleased that as a result of rules negotiations um, that myself and three others were a part of, as you know, that we adopt rules at the very beginning of the session within minutes. Uh, we adopted those and we gained, I'm quite excited, we gained some uh, transparency, real transparency. Um, in the way of having committee bills identified and amendments identified. Um, so that's what the legislature, in particular House Republicans and Democrats, are bringing to the table. I would like to see that same kind of action from the governor's office. That's, that's what I think leadership would look like. Um, the, the governor um, has a lot of tough decisions. Um, I, I don't necessarily envy that at all. Um, PERS has got to be addressed, um, and we can't tweak around the edges. I've had uh, a lot of retirees over the years say to me, do you want to take money out of a PERS retiree's pocket? I say, of course not. That's why we need to address the issue. We've got to do something about it now. Um, and also in education. Uh, frankly, this is the first time that I have not been on the House Education Committee or the House Higher Ed higher education committee since I've been in the legislature 11 years and that's because I asked the speaker to remove me. I am still on the joint committee for student success um, but the reason I asked to be removed and I appreciate her um, granting that wish is we've talked about the same things for 10 years. There's no new information, there's no new data, we just need to make the decisions and, and the political will doesn't seem pre present to make those decisions. So I said, put somebody else there. Maybe they can be more effective. Maybe they can trigger something. Leadership is the governor doing something different in education than what we have done for decades. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I've been in this building 11 years, and I don't think you can point to very many uh, yardsticks for student success that are significantly or even better than they were 10 years ago. We've got to get it right.